population of Lakewood, California today is around 80,000, and it's a city that many do not know. It is known as the Tree City of USA. But how did Lakewood get its start, and how did it grow into the city we do know today? Called Lakewood's Country Club Estates, Bonner's new subdivision was a leisurely automobile commute from downtown Long Beach and removed from the smells and noises of the oil fields around Signal Hill. The plan for the Lakewood Country Club Estates called for large lots, wide boulevards, and gently curving residential streets. The social heart of the new suburb was to be a golf course and clubhouse for the use of the surrounding homeowners. And the golf course is still a well-known place in Lakewood. And the houses are still have the curvy residential streets and even large boulevards. With homeowners still here today, but back then there were few buyers who were even looking to buy a home at this time. At the time, it was clear that this prosperous neighborhood we know today was not so prosperous back then. And that is when they had to move to a new idea. This new idea was to build smaller lots, and it's called Lakewood Village. They were all considered farm homes. At Bonner's orders, there were no sidewalks built in Lakewood Village to maintain the suburban ambulance of Lakewood. And it's still like this today. Oh, hey Pete. Hi Derek. Bonner's next idea was to build in Lakewood what we know today as track homes. Bonner was not the only one that was building these track homes, but John Griffin and Herbert C. Ledge began building about 1,100 homes of this in the city of Lakewood track, north and south of Carson Street and east of Belleville Boulevard, which is where we are right now. And designated in 1950, it was established that a park or recreational facility would be within a quarter of a mile of every Lakewood home. In 1959, Delville Park received a new piece of playground equipment, a Douglas F3D2 Sky Knight jet fighter. Youth that moved into Lakewood started to get older. Lakewood needed a high school. So in 1957, they opened Lakewood High School. That is where I graduated from in 2016. Paige? Hey, Paige. Hi, Derek. Lakewood received half a million dollars to pay for infrastructure improvements. In 1954 to 1955, Lakewood would finally have enough money in revenue to pay for county services contracts and City Hall would open April 16th in 1954. So the library moved to a larger building in 1959 in the new Lakewood Civic Center which is where we are right now on Clark Avenue. The library has moved here and been here in this present location since 1973. So right across the street from City Hall and the library is Lakewood Mall, which is where Wingard put $8 million to begin the construction and the Lakewood Mall Shopping Center opened in 1950 with only four stores in it. Paige? Hi Derek. Hey Paige. When the Lakewood Mall first opened in 1951, there were only four stores at the time and it was an outdoor shopping center. But today, Lakewood Mall or Lakewood Shopping Center has about 225 stores or services, and it is now an indoor mall. First movie theater in Lakewood was Pacific Theater, and the first feature that was shown was on January 17, 1968. The mall's first cinematic venue was originally known as the Pacific Theater's Lakewood Center Theater, and it cost $1 million to build this movie theater that still stands today. So, the Lakewood plan was an instruction manual for incorporating that a group of residents devised during the 1950s in response to a series of annexation battles with the southern neighbors Long Beach. As Lakewood was growing from a small, sleepy city in 1950 to a 17,500 house plan development in 1953, Long Beach undertook a series of fights some successful to annex Lakewood. The Lakewood citizens were seeking to incorporate about seven square miles of property, including some 70,000 uh, residents, 105 miles of paved and lighted streets, and the Lakewood Center shopping. They wanted to make their own laws and pass budgets along with do their own community planning. The contract system of development was an experiment that was carefully watched and later em emulated by other communities. I have lived in Lakewood now for about 14 years and my house was built in 1950. It was actually one of the houses that was built on the east side of Bellflower. 